and welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while since I created a look or filmed something but I wanted to show you guys the difference between Asian makeup and Western makeup because they're completely two different things so let's get to it foundation for Asian makeup on this side I'm going to use the luminous silk this foundation right here, it's not full coverage. It's medium to buildable. The reason why I'm using this is because it provides luminosity and it's gonna give me that glowy finish. So one thing that I'd like you to know, for Asian makeup, um, a lot of Asian girls really like to go two to three shades lighter than their own skin tone. They usually don't like going with the um, foundation shade that matches them. When you work at a counter and you recommend that, they would think that it's a little too dark. This is just my experience from working at a counter. So I'm just gonna blend my left away. For the Western makeup, I'm going to use the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. The reason why I'm using this one, this is a full cover and also the finish is matte but it still gives you that radiance. The shade I'm using for mine is called Buff. So on this side right here, this is my actual color. On the other side, I went um, about two shades lighter. So I'm going to go ahead and set this side with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna pat it lightly because like I said, Asian makeup really likes the glowy luminous finish. For the Western makeup, I'm going to set it with this is um, Armani Luminous Silk Compact in number 4. So it comes with this. So the white side, if you use this side, it's going to provide you a sheer cover. And if you use the black side, it's going to provide you a full cover. So since like, I want a full cover for the Western makeup, I'm going to use this side. Guy, you guys. So maybe I'll color correct and conceal the extra brow hair that's here. I decided to like, you know, just pretty much like draw a straight line instead of following the natural arch of my brow. I feel like with western makeup, it's always the bolder, the better. You guys agree? The brows I'm doing right now is like the Instagram brow. And I'm gonna go ahead and carve this brows with this guy here. This is for the Asian brows. And then this is for the Western brows. For the Asian makeup, they either just use one or two colors, mostly one, and it's just very, very subtle. So now I'm gonna move on with eyeliner on this one. So normally for Asian makeup, the eye look is either just like a tight line or a little wing, or it's like extended straight line. Moving on, let's go to the eye look for the western makeup. For western makeup, there's definitely a lot of smoky eyes going on and a sharp winged eyeliner or sometimes a cut crease. And seriously, wing it out sister. And lashes, yes, lashes for days. For Asian makeup, there's not a lot of contouring going on. It's more on the blush. 
I'm also going to contour a little bit on this side of my nose. And I'm going to go ahead and contour on this side with my Kat Von D palette. And then you put on some blush. Ooh. And then highlight. Yes. Highlight. I'm also gonna highlight on the brow bone because Western makeup likes to do that. And then, seriously, more highlight. Highlight to the gods. you guys like it and I hope you ooh, ooh. Oh, what do I say this is the final look and yeah that's it.